Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna try to share with you a technique on how you can effectively answer one of the most common questions asked in an interview or in a cabin crew interview. And that is, tell me about yourself. I received a lot of questions from um, from aspirants as well on my Instagram, on and a couple of comments here on YouTube as well, asking me, how do you really answer this question? Tell me something about yourself. Because really, it's a very simple question. Tell me something about yourself. And who knows you better than yourself, right? But the problem there is, what should you talk about? What should you what should you share when you get this uh, when you get this question? One reason that I think this question is quite difficult to answer is because there are really a lot of things that you can talk about. Should you talk about your hobbies? Should you talk about your educational background, your work background? So the question there is where do you begin? Where where should you begin when you're answering this question? And one important um, one important thing to ask yourself as well is why do recruiters ask this question when when they're already holding your resume all your important information are there why are they still asking you this question personally i think that they are asking this question because they want to know obviously number one um, they want to know how you communicate your thoughts, how you process your thoughts. And they also want to know how you prioritize the information that you have. Are you going to share relevant things to them, um, stuff that's relevant to the job? Or are you just going to share random things that you usually do that is completely unrelated to the job that you're applying for? So think about that. Having said that, here are my three very quick tips on how you can... Um, formulate your own answer to this question. Let's go with tip number one. Don't recite your entire resume to your interviewer. Example, hi, my name is Catherine. I am 32 years old and I come from Las Piñas, Philippines. And I graduated last uh, 2010. I worked for blah, 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 blah. And that is all you need to know about me. So they already know all this information about you. They've already skimmed through your resume before you even entered the room. So don't bore them with um, very minor information as such. Which brings me to tip number two. Talk about your current role. What are you currently doing? Are you working? Are you a fresh grad? For example, you are somebody who's already working with a previous, uh, with, a, with a different company. Talk about your position. Talk about your achievements. How long have you been in a certain position and what are the skills that you have developed um, throughout the years uh, or months that you have been uh, with, your, with your company? Make sure that when you're sharing stuff about your current role, be positive about it. You know, when you're applying for a new job, you don't want to share the negative stuff about your current job. And a bad example would be my current role in my job is I am a lead, uh, I am a supervisor. And it's, it's a challenging job because, you know, some people, they don't really know how to work with other people. And it's hard to manage them because they are just very stubborn very very wrong bad mouthing your current company or your your colleagues is never a plus on any interview so don't do it while you're uh answering this question if you're somebody who is a fresher or a fresh grad you've never really worked and you want to share your skills as well you can do that because you can also share what are the extracurricular activities that you've been involved in in your university or in your high school um just things that can highlight um, your skills. And this brings me to point number three. Very important point. Make it um, whatever skills that you're going to be sharing, make it relevant to the position or the job that you are applying for. Let's say in this case, you're applying to be a flight attendant. What skills or traits do you think uh, is important for a cabin crew to have? So think think about that and from there you can formulate your answer in this point as well you can share what motivated you to apply for the job what motivated the switch from another company to another company or from one airline to another or 
what made you decide that after university as a fresher what made you decide that this is the job that you want and what are the things that you can share with the company those are my three simple tips let's see how we can apply this when we um when we formulate our own answers this answer that i'm going to give you is just an example um which i'm going to be basing on my experience as a flight attendant as a uh, as a cabin crew supervisor and notice how i'm gonna apply all these three tips when i am giving my answer to the question tell me something about yourself are you ready let's go i worked for qatar airways for over eight years and in the last three years i held the position as a cabin senior and one of my responsibility is to ensure that the safety and service protocols of the airline is adhered to at all times on every flight based on the company policies and part of this is conducting performance checks on the cabin crew and providing feedback where it's necessary i also coach newly joined cabin crew about their responsibilities on the aircraft their specific safety zones what are the safety equipment they are responsible for and basically just to avoid the confusion between what they learned in the classroom on theory versus what's actually happening on board the aircraft as a leader i think it's highly important to be a team player and i believe in leading by example as an educator it's important to be flexible and i do that by understanding the learning style of my cabin crew so that i can ensure that the transfer of knowledge and skills is effective and efficient and to achieve these two skills i think one important skill that a that a leader or an educator should have is to be a good communicator above anything else because more than the words that you are saying it's how you say it how do you ensure that whatever you are saying it's the same message that the person that you're talking to is receiving and these are the skills that i plan to put into good use if i'm giving the opportunity to work with your airline as an instructor so there you go that is my example on how i would answer the question as you notice i did not make it too long because i don't want to bore them and i just gave them a highlight of my responsibilities and the skills that i have developed over time so you can use these three techniques or these three tips that i shared with you and formulate your own answer to the question tell me something about yourself i hope you like this video and i hope that you learned something from this video it's already raining this thunder so i'm not gonna make this video longer than this but again yes i hope you learned something from this video if you're interested uh to learn more about cabin crew stuff you can go ahead and browse through my channel i have a lot of cabin crew content that you might find helpful during your flight attendant application if you haven't subscribed yet please do so click on that subscribe button this has been days with kath i will see you next time bye